On today's high watt soundbite, we're putting the power cord in your productions. Is there anything more awesome than a really well played power chord on an electric guitar? Particularly if you got a really killer tone dialed up and you double it for that big wide chorusing effect? Oh my goodness. Okay, so in today's session, I want to share a couple of ideas on how to take that power chord and transform it into an entirely new texture and one that will help your productions big time. So let's jump right into a session and have an all new look at the power chord. All right, so we're not talking about any brand new discoveries or any new inventions. This is a technique that you're already using, I'm sure, in your productions. It's just a very specific thing that happens with a power chord when you take that piece of audio and you reverse it and you play it backwards. There's just something very unique about the way a guitar sustains and rings out that when played backwards, it creates an effect that I have not been able to recreate or have not really heard anything else cre make this sound. So, you know, I'm not, we're, we're talking about reversing audio here. We're not talking about rocket science, but the effect of reversing a power chord is very different than a lot of other things that I've experienced. So why don't we just record a power chord into Pro Tools so that we can hear it go down all by itself. And then let's apply the reverse to it and play it back in its entirety. And you're going to hear exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not going to subject you guys to my playing. Well, fortunately, I've got some very good guitar samples in my library. So let's just use one of those instead. Okay, let's track it. All right, so we've got our tracked guitar there. Our power cord is now tracked. And then we go up to our trusty audio suite palette and we go to other and we grab reverse and we press the render button. And now what do we have? It's not just a sound that's coming up. It's a sound that is morphing. It's, it's evolving radically in how it sounds. And for some reason, the way that that hits you in a track, it's just magical what it can do. It can, it can bring movement and it can, it can create uh, anticipation like almost nothing I've ever used before. Okay, so for a few minutes before this session, I, I pulled up a couple of examples of what I'm talking about. In the first track, it's like a remix song where I'm trying to gel two pieces together that were a bit different, you know, different vibes. Check it out. So I love it in that track because it really did a good job of kind of building that, that build into the next section. Here's another track. Okay, similar thing in that track. I'm using the guitar to really help bridge two pieces of a song together. The sound of a sustaining electric guitar when played in reverse is just such a great way to build tension and, 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 and anticipation that something's about to come. So check it out in these two cases. Okay, so in that case, you you know, you see there's a bunch of madness going on in that little cue, but it 
generates a, a, there's this suddenly there's this like oh you feel something coming and you almost don't even know where it came from it's so effective in a track like that so let's check out another piece that kind of has a similar effect Okay, so if none of your buddies play killer guitar, they probably know someone who does. So, you know, go out there and start working on that collection. And if you just absolutely are at a loss, then by all means, please go ahead and use the sample that I included in today's session because it's a fantastic sounding, big, long sustain chord. And you'll probably, it's in C, you'll probably even be able to transpose it like a couple of, a couple of semitones either way to make it fit into your track. But but just have fun, start playing with backwards guitar. Well, thank you for sitting in on today's session. And I encourage you to please leave a comment or by all means, share a topic that we can do a whole session on. And if you like today's session, please consider subscribing to my channel.